here we are, finally. In Florida. At Mountain Dora High School. On a virtual field trip shooting LTI, LTI. which is gonna be super incredibly exciting. Low Temp Industries, super excited to be here. Let's do this thing. Oh my gosh, here we go. <laughs> is it Willis here? Willis is here. Willis. Willis. Hey, Marlon. <laughs> Willis. Hey, man. Good to How's see you. Going? Willis. Good, good to see you. Can you tell us what you guys did with the survey line? Just walk us through it, tell us all about it. Marlon, Mount Dora wanted the ability to be able to serve hot and cold foods side by side. They also wanted to be able to serve more of a variety of foods. The problem is they have limited space. So we actually designed the survey line upward. Let's walk through and I'll kind of talk you through it. So we laid out the survey line here at Mount Dora with LTI's quick switch food wells. The LTI quick switch food wells allows you to heat the food hot, cold, or frozen. Here you see the first well is hot with burritos and tacos. The second well is cold with salsa and sour cream. And then the third well is hot again with chicken nuggets. And then the fourth well is cold again with salad. Wait, well, did you say you can see frozen too? Yes, you can actually serve ice cream in the ice cream room, frozen. And what's nice is that you can do it side by side. Each individual well could be hot, cold, or frozen. So how long does it take to get the temperature? So you can go from hot to cold or hot to frozen within one hour. Wow. Talk about versatility. Yeah. This is our quick switch saran glass. Each saran glass is independently controlled and can be frost or hot. So you can make both of these hot are both crossed. By going vertically, we're able to serve more food and offer more offerings. As we go to the next section, we designed this with a Tempest Air cold pan. Tempest Air cold pans can be as long as 12 pans. Here we did the uh, salad bar on the bottom. Like today, we're utilizing them with fruit, uh, vegetables, water, and Gatorade. Then on the top, we did a frost top for the parfaits. You can do whole pans, eight pans, third pans. It makes it really flexible for whatever you want to serve. Great. That would be perfect for my salad bar. Now, if we move down, this is really a nice, unique item. This is the glass sliding top beverage cooler. LTI designs this to be built right in the line. That way, you don't have a separate beverage cooler that's just sitting to the side, which is more traditional in most school lines. Here, this is good for merchandising with the chips, fruits and vegetables, uh, easy to access. One of the most unique things about this line is they picked a quartz trace line. That's nicer than the countertops at my house. You know, it's a way to really make a school serving line top of the line without adding a lot of cost. So Willis, tell me, is this all one piece or is this mix and match? Can people really customize their experience and what they're looking for in a serving line? With LTI. This is a custom line. It's designed to fit perfectly in this dining room space. So what we'll do is we'll come in and actually look at the menu. We see what food they actually want to serve. And then we'll design the number of wells, the number of frost tops, hot tops, the number of salad bars, the number of beverage stations based off their menu. And then we'll lay it out to fit just right. With the ability to toggle from refrigeration to hot holding to even frozen, this really allows for an ever-changing menu. What's nice is you don't have to plan your menu to fit your equipment. The equipment is flexible, so you can change your menu daily. You know, we're doing this for the students. And the first day when you renovate a cafeteria or a serving area, and you see these students come in, and uh, you can really tell it makes them happy. They appreciate that. And when you see that, that's the best thing about my job. Can only imagine the wow factor of a student coming into this beautiful cafeteria. The colors are so beautiful and bright and welcoming. So Willis, talk to me about what is going on here. What did you guys design? Before the walls were painted beige, concrete block walls, there was some PLA murals that needed some help. So we actually came in and brought in colors to accent the school's vibrant orange color. And then of course we decorated the serving lines. To do something like this, how long does it take? We came in over a weekend and did the painting. Hold on a second. Over the weekend? Yeah, we came in on a Friday and worked all late Friday night, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Wow. Wow. 
And then the next weekend we came in and installed all the signage. And you guys designed the signage too, right? That is correct. Our graphic designs designs all the signs. So we'll work with the food service directors mm -hmm. and then they can take that back to the principals and the school nutrition departments to get the approval. You guys seem to have a real care for doing what's best for the school. Like It's all about them. They're the heroes of the story. So you have students, they, they come in, they give their feedback, principals give feedback. It's really great. I remember one principal and I'll quote her and she said, it just makes you happy. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. I definitely feel happy here. Love to eat <laughs> lunch here every day. <laughs> Hey Mike, it's Amanda, and guess what? I found Kevin from Eaton just hanging around, so I pulled him in for the conversation. Hey Mike, how you doing? Kevin Dillon, hey buddy, <laughs> I'm glad you're there. All the guys of Eaton Marketing are awesome. So what we did is we took layouts and, and footprints of everything and made a design that would fit um, what was there before so we could utilize the existing utilities so we can come in on a Friday and pull out the old stuff, bring in the new stuff, and be ready to serve on a Monday. That we strive to do right now we are uh, promoting LTI 24 7 which basically means that we don't have to install your serving lines over a long summer recess mm -hmm. you know we can do them over any weekend if it's a three-day weekend or just a regular weekend or we do them at a spring break or Thanksgiving or any kind of break like that tell us what your favorite thing is about this job the way it displays the food I mean, the LED lights and the frosted glass and the heated black shelves, um, I just think it's just an awesome, awesome sermon line. You saw it for yourself. It really came out beautiful. Students have a choice of whether they can come to the cafeteria. So in essence, to capture those sales, you need them here. So what a better way to mm -hmm. capture their attention than a beautiful area where they feel comfortable and happy. Yeah, there's some magic happening here. For sure. <laughs> yeah. I love how everybody comes together and works together mm. for the school districts. That's what I love about our industry. Everybody works together. It is so hot in Florida. How did you live here for that long? What's weird is I actually miss the humidity. I love the humidity That's now. Because you don't heat. have hair. <laughs> true, <laughs> true. Wow, what an incredible cafeteria transformation we saw today. And the work that LTI put into this is absolutely amazing. I just love the fact how they partner with the stakeholders and accomplishes this amazing renovation in serving lines. Definitely a wow moment, and I'm so excited that we got to feature them yes. on First Case TV. Absolutely. So let's head back to the studio. Hey, guys. <laughs>